Hey everybody, it's Martha of Pause Yoga and Fitness. And today we are gonna do some fitness. Um, it's the day after Christmas. So I have a little bit of a Christmas hit workout for you, Tabata style. Um, we're gonna go through, I'm, I'm gonna go through maybe one or two rounds with you. And then um, you continue and see how many you can do. One round is just four minutes. So even if you just get one round today done, it's awesome. But I don't know about you, I just needed to move. I, I went on a run today um, and it was hard. I don't know, after so many days of being sort of off my schedule, um, not eating and, and drinking like I, I typically do. <laughs> and um, just, um, I'm, I'm ready to get back to it, right? I'm ready to sweat, which I've already been doing. So I'm gonna do some more with you. So to do this workout, you don't really need anything. I'm actually not gonna use any equipment today. Um, you could grab some really light weights or some wristbands, ankle bands, if you want. Um, so I am, but you do need a Tabata timer. And so it is a free timer, just that um, right there, just Google Tabata timer, or, I mean, or get onto your, your app, sorry, and, and search there. Um, and so it looks like that. Um, so let's get moving. Um, you do definitely need to warm up. I am not warming you up for this. So you need to be sure you're warmed up. So if you're not warmed up, please hit pause and um, at least go on like a power walk for a few minutes or go do some yoga, um, go and do some planks, um, do a quick little strength training workout, something. You've got to warm up though before you do this. I will cool you down. Um, but I'll cool you down after the, you know, after the rounds that I do. And of course, um, you know, if you want to do more rounds, then um, please cool down yourself. Right. Um, but it's really important to always cool down and warm up. Sorry, my mom is texting. Me. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's go. Let's get going. First one is jumping jacks. I will just call these out to you. It's Tabata. So if you're not familiar with Tabata, um, it's 20 seconds on 10 seconds of a break. And then we're going to the next workout or next exercise. So I will do my best to let you know what's coming up. All right. Jumping jacks. If you need a modification, here you go. You can add weights. Just 20 seconds. You got less than 10. Speed it up if you can. Five. Okay, great job. 10 seconds. I would keep moving. We're going down for mountain climbers. Take the mountain climbers really slow. Just full plank as a modification. Or move with me. Five. Great. All the way down on your bike, on your back for bikes. <laughs> Clearly, that's a hard thing to say. Let's go. Take it slow. You can always put a one foot down. If you need a modification, we're halfway through. Five. And break. All right, we have dips. So I'm doing these from a supine tabletop. You could do these off of a chair or a bench or just hold tabletop here. So you're bending your elbow, straightening your arm. Less than 10. So it's some cardio and then some strength involved as well. We've got ski jumps next. Two seconds. And come on up. And as you can tell, I didn't even talk to you about this, but I guess I am barefoot. <laughs> so if you want shoes, go for it. But yes, you can do these barefoot too. All right, so modified ski jump here. Add a hop. Maybe pick that back foot up. Get even lower. Go quicker. All ways to modify. Five. Three. Break. All right, we're holding a squat. You could do a wall squat. 
or great modification. Um, let's go. Low abs pull down. It's like chair and yoga, right? It sounds so much better. Chair. So coming down and holding a plank next. Coming out of that squat, take a break. Come on down, old plank. If you want to move, move back and forth. Gaze down. I'm gazing at you or at myself, um, but um, gaze down. It's proper form. Don't mind me. Five seconds. Our last exercise already coming up. We are ending with burpees. <laughs> Great job. Come on up. And your burpee can be a full one with a, a push up at the bottom, or you can skip the push up. You don't have to jump either. So I'll go through it. Let's go. So modified burpee ready right here. Or full. You can drop your knees in that push up. You can skip the push up. You don't have to jump. Five. Great job. That is one round. That's four minutes. I'll do it one more time with you. And then I will <laughs> stretch you out. If you uh, want to continue with me, or you continue to see how many rounds you can do. Jumping jacks, let's go. Remember what we have next? Mountain climbers. <laughs> Come on, pick it up. And so if you just do these two rounds with me, that is eight minutes. <laughs> Good job. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is up. Um, that's all about 80 minutes. That's all it takes. No equipment. <laughs> Let's go. Slow down climbers or speed it up. Ten seconds. Uh, good job. Staying down. We got bikes next. <laughs> Coming all the way down your back. Let's go. Ten. Five. All right, we got those dips. Again, just hold table tuck. Let's come on up to get ready. Bend your elbows, exhale, straighten. You can always use your legs to help you to press up as well. And again, you can do these dips on a chair or just pick up weights and do a tricep strengthening exercise that you know. Great job. <laughs> All right, we got those ski jumps. Come on up, get ready. Four seconds. You've got it. All right, again, modify. Join me. No hop. Start to hop. That back foot can stay grounded. Pick it up. Get a little lower. Get a little quicker. All great ways to modify. As soon as that foot lands, go. A little agility for you. Oop. There's... All right, great. Take a break. Um, what is next? So we are holding our squat, wall squat if you like. Let's go. Low abs pull in, soft shoulders. Sit back. You should see those toes. You can hold a weight if you wanted, challenging yourself even more. Five, a little lower if you can. Two. And holding our plank. We are getting close to the end. Already, we got this plank hold, burpees, we're done. Come on down with me, let's go. You wanna um, change it up, you could add leg lift, even harder, Spider-Man planks. Up here, tricep or elbow. One more on each. 
Carefully back up. This is it. We got burpees, your version. You do what you can. Push ups are optional. Jumping is optional. Let's go. If you are jumping, if you're lowering down and coming up, you're coming up through that squat. Squat, come down. Squat up. A lot safer. You get jumped to at the table, which I just didn't do. <laughs> Two seconds. That was it. Two rounds. So continue on. See how many rounds you can get. Otherwise, stay with me here. Let's take a nice big inhale. We'll reach up this guy. And release. One more time. Then release your fingers back behind you. Kind of a you can go fairly wide stance if you want. Gaze up, big inhale, exhale, let's come down, forward fold, knuckles to the sky. Releasing knuckles, hold on to your elbows, rag off. If you are still really breathing hard, maybe you skip this part, forward fold, and don't come into a fold yet. Yeah, take control of your breath, bring your heart rate back down. You don't want to walk. You need. All right, release your hands, walk it out, down dog. Pile out your feet or stay still. Work on getting those heels down. Nice, little, strong arms, strong back, tailbone to the sky. Soften those knees, chest pressed back. And release cat and cow. Move with your breath, cow. Around cat. Cow. And cat. Come into neutral spine. Just stretch the right leg out. Lift it up. Cat pose as you bring it through your hands. Runners lunge. Press your hips forward. Send your chest to the wall in front, opening up here. Your hands can come to blocks. Deep hip flexor stretch. Let's get those hammies. We're gonna walk that leg out and then sit back. So you can stay right here. Or you can come all the way back, sitting into your back heel, forward fold. Sorry, my mom. Let me step here. Come on up. And then let's ease into half pigeon. And the left leg's coming back. This right leg is as parallel to the short end of your yoga mat. If you need a block or blanket underneath that hip, it's lifted. Or you can, this heel, you could really draw it in towards your body. Big inhale. So this is half pigeon. And come on down. Exhale. Good. Press your forehead on a bluff through the ground or your back of your hands. And empty arms come all the way up, swing that back leg forward. Forward fold both legs, big inhale and exhale. And just your head hang heavy. Come on up. Cross out the ankles, make your way back to tabletop. Speak to cat and cows. Move with your breath. Neutral spine, extend your left leg back. Mm 
Pick it up, bring it through, deep runner's lunge. Hands can come to blocks. Reaching that leg forward just a tad bit. Toes come back towards your shin, straighten that leg. Again, you can fold right here, or if you can, sit all the way back into your right heel and fold. And let's release all the way up. We're going to set it for our half pigeon and I'm just going to come this way so you can see so my left leg is now parallel to the front end of my mat if I were on a mat my right leg is straight back and again you've got to check if this hip is up um, you could draw this heel in close or put a blanket under that hip and then when you're good to go here big inhale open up towards the sky and then fold I'm going to come on up. I'm going to swing this leg across, cross legged position, right fingers out. And we're going to exhale, side bend to the right. Think about this right shoulder staying down away from your ears, but just opening up. Your forearm can come down if you've got it. Really press that left cheek down, especially. And let's come back up, walk those left fingers out, start with that shoulder back and down, and then exhale your left arm over, really pressing that right cheek down and breathe. And release, let's exhale, twist over to the right, stay tall. The center. Exhale, twist left, nice and tall. And release. Take a nice big inhale, reach over the sky, bring your hands into prayer. And then we're just going to stay here for a moment. Thumbs pressed into our chest. Close your eyes, gaze down. Just connect to your breath and your heartbeat. And acknowledging yourself for coming to your mat today or to your to your, you know, your exercise room or wherever you are doing this and trying to bot it out, testing yourself and then staying here for a nice cool now. And just continuing each and every day to figure out a way to take care of you, to, to move, to breathe, to de-stress. And to your mat each and every day. So now you can go off and take care of those who need to in a stronger, healthier way. Take one more full inhale. Exhale it out. And from my heart to yours. Thank you all so much. And I will see you back here soon. Take care. Have a great day. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas.